Just 17 millimeters thick at under 2 kgs with an RTX 4090 and an Intel Core Ultra 9 on board. That's what you get with the Asus ROG Zephyrus G16. Surprised? Curious? Well, stick around if you want to know more. The ASUS ROG line is synonymous with gaming, but with the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G16 which we have here, they're aiming for a broader audience, including content creators craving power in a compact form factor. Under the hood, the G16 sports top-of-the-line hardware, including an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor and an NVIDIA RTX 4090 GPU. But does it deliver on performance? Well, stick around to find out. While it handles most tasks with ease, the performance falls short compared to similarly priced competitors, especially in demanding titles and tasks. The Meteor Lake Intel Core Ultra 9 in the Zephyrus G16 does not offer any improvement over its predecessors, as you can clearly see from the benchmarks. Similarly, the 125W Max-Q RTX 4090 on the Zephyrus G16 is much weaker than the fully powered 175W RTX 4090s in other similarly priced laptops. Just take a look at the synthetic scores. Even RTX 4080 laptops managed to outperform the Zephyrus G16 in some real-world gaming benchmarks. Cooling is another aspect worth mentioning. Uh, thin and light form factors have always had this issue and it also is there in the G16. While the G16's cooling solution is effective for the internals, surface temperatures can get uncomfortably high during intensive tasks. We're talking north of 45 degrees Celsius at certain spots like the WASD cluster and the center of the laptop. The rest of the laptop averages at around 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk about the gorgeous display. The 16-inch OLED panel is ASUS's first OLED panel with NVIDIA G-Sync support. The 2.5K Quad HD Plus display boasts vibrant colors and a blazing fast refresh rate of 240Hz, perfect for both gaming and content creation and consumption. We tested 400 nits of peak brightness on the display, which is exactly the same as advertised. Plus, we also tested 100% sRGB and DCI-P3 color gamut coverage. Now, coming to the design, the G16 breaks away from the typical gaming aesthetic, featuring a more premium aluminium chassis with a sleek minimalist design. It's very unlike previous models of the Zephyrus. The unibody construction offers impressive stability, and ASUS has also ditched the dot matrix lid display for a subtle slash lighting strip, which you can see here. Customizable to your liking, the backlit keyboard and the spacious touchpad offer a comfortable typing experience. Although the layout might take some getting used to with the uh, single line enter key and the extremely tiny arrow keys. In terms of connectivity, the G16 packs a punch with a good selection of ports, all neatly tucked along the sides for easy access. So, what's the verdict on the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G16? Well, it's a sleek, portable powerhouse with a stunning display and amazing build quality. However, it does have its flaws, especially when it comes to raw performance. If you're looking for a balance between performance and portability, the G16 is definitely worth considering. That is, if you're okay with the 3.4 lakh price tag. However, if what you want is just performance, especially at this price, then you might want to look at other beefier alternatives. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.